On the same day that Donald Trump will be sworn in as president, more than 1,000 General Motors workers in Ohio are going to work their final shift. The company is eliminating their jobs, saying there is not enough demand for the cars assembled at the plant where they work. The announcement came the day after the November election. NBC's Ron Mott is out talking to some of those workers in Warren, Ohio. He joins us live now. Ron, what are you hearing? Hey there, Kate. Well, this is Trump country, at least this particular election cycle. That is not a traditional voting block for Republicans here. Just about every local and statewide race in Trumbull County went to Democrats at the top of the ticket, Republican. You can see back here on this billboard, they build the Chevrolet Cruze here. And Donald Trump took a shot at General Motors yesterday for building the hatchback version of this car down in Mexico. He says, build a car in the U.S. or pay a hefty tax. Now, today, we spoke to some of the workers here. Both of them had seniority, so they will not be among those losing their jobs on January 20th, but they want to hold Donald Trump to his campaign promise of bringing jobs and restoring jobs and keeping jobs right here in America. Here's just a sample. I would hope Donald Trump would come here also, and I would love to shake his hand for even getting involved because it's been a long time that we really haven't had a lot of help. We cross party lines to vote for Trump simply because of his message. We want to make sure that he pulls through on this message and helps this area. The Rust Belt is what put him in office, and we're going to hold him to that. Now, Barack Obama got a lot of credit for obviously saving the auto industry in America as we know it during that bailout in 2007, 8, 9, in that time period. These folks here, though, decided that this particular election cycle was about jobs. They read that message Donald Trump put out there resonated, Kate, with these workers and voters in Trumbull County and elsewhere in Ohio. And people in the Rust Belt are going to hold him to it going forward. Okay. So, so 16 days to go, Ron, would you say the mood is optimistic? I mean, do they think he'll come through for them or, or are they wary? Well, I think they are, are optimistic about what he has been saying all along during out this long campaign about jobs and American jobs first. And yesterday, if you interpret his tweet, he could be sort of saying to General Motors, why don't you shutter that plant and bring that line, that, uh, that uh, hatchback model, to this right. particular facility. Just to give you a sense of the scale here, they used to have 20-some-odd thousand workers here, Kate. It is down to 4,500, and that number is going to dwindle even further when Donald Trump raises his right hand and is sworn in as the 45th president of the United States. They want to see him here, and as one person said, not on Twitter. Why don't you come to Warren, Ohio? Well, okay. there you go. And that does look like a lot of empty asphalt out there behind you. Ron, Ron Mott, thanks so much. Appreciate it. That's going to wrap up this hour for me. I'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon, as usual, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. And you can always find me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I am TV Kate Snow. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.